So first things first, we are going to discuss waterfall without getting into any IT speak or technical language. There is nothing technical about it. <coughs> we are just going to see how we are going to build something. Not software, just buildings. How are we going to build something given a certain timeline, given a certain process? First one is waterfall. I will quickly uh, introduce this method to you and then you can ask questions. So in waterfall, everything is top down. Waterfall, right? Four flows from the top to the bottom. So it's very obvious one after the other approach. So the top down phases are conducted in sequence. So let's say the goal is to construct an apartment complex developments A1, A2 and A3. I'm just going to call these three as three of my apartment complex units or developments as they call phases, right? So I have three apartment, high rise apartment buildings that I need to construct. That's my goal. And we'll look at how, how do I do it in RUP? How do I do it in waterfall? So before I start building in, I need to see what needs to be done. I need to have my to-do list, right? So my to-do list is just for simplicity. I'm oversimplifying it, of course. I have three major processes that I need to consider. And those are structuring, engineering, and landscaping. Right? Of course, there's a lot more electrical and plumbing and all that. So let's assume all that is taken care of in one of these sub-processes. So if I structure, engineer, and landscape, all my three developments, A1, A2, and A3, I'm done. That's the end goal. Simple as that. So how would waterfall go about it? So the logic in waterfall is complete all processes for all developments sequentially. I need to bring up all my developments simultaneously. That's the idea. So month one, let's say I need to do this in three months, right? So month one, my structuring happens for all the three developments. Month two, engineering happens for all the three developments. Month three, landscaping happens for all the three developments. Is that logical? Right? So end of the three months, I've achieved my goal, which is build these three complexes in three months. So all my processes are done. All the three are over end of three months. That's my assumption now. So if you look at the depiction on the right side of your screen, slide 13, in January, A1, A2, A3, they all have their bare bone structures laid out. Month two, there's more completion, windows, doors, all that's fixed, plumbing, uh, wiring, all that has been taken care of. Month three, I add, I add the next layer, which is the landscaping. Does it seem logical? Does it seem possible? Okay, any questions on waterfall before we jump to wrap and the same is depicted in this waterfall project plan as well so in jan you can see that structuring has filled a1 a2 and a3 in feb engineering has filled a1 a2 and a3 and landscaping has filled a1 a2 and a3 so end of jan all the three structures were up end of feb all the three engineering was up and end of third month you are done with landscaping for all the three properties. <coughs> Make sense? Okay. Some of you might have guessed what happens with RUP, but here we go on slide 14. So RUP is called iterative and incremental model. So first thing is increment. Baby steps. One, next, then the third. So how RUP would go about this is, it will first identify subsystems, Take one sub subsystem, apply the processes. Then move on to the second subsystem, apply the processes. Third subsystem, apply the processes. So the goal is the same. Construct the apartment complex developments A1, A2, and A3 in three months. And what is the logic behind RUP? First thing it's going to ask is, how do I make the problem smaller? Right? How do I logically break the goal into pieces? So first thing that comes up is, okay, so we need to build three things which are identical. The key is identical, right? You want to pick three things which are multiple things which are identical processes. <coughs> so my logical step is, I'll take A1, right? I'll complete A1. 
month one, I do structuring, engineering and uh, landscaping on A1, which means A2 and A3 are untouched at this point. So end of month one, I have my A1 which is built. Then I jump into A2, which has again structuring, engineering, landscaping. I know how to do it because I already have the handle on things. Now I go to month three and I complete A3. So pictorially you will see what happens on uh, the right side of slide four. Month one, A1 progresses little by little, it's done. Month two, same happens to A2. And month three, this happens in month. Uh, the third development is also over. <coughs> right? Any questions at this point? So you can relate and see how these two proposals are different, right? Are you able to differentiate between the two? Perfect. Now would be a good time for a quick class activity.